Hi everyone, I am Akshita, a fourth year family student. So in my last video, I said about patient profile form. If you haven't watched the video yet, you can watch it now. I'll be keeping that video link in the description box. So in this week, I was having ward rounds and I collected two phases with discharge medication. One is recurrent CVA with uh, right hemiparesis and global aphasia. And one more is on uncontrolled diabetes mellitus with recurrent urinary tract infection. So in this video, I'll be going to talk about how we have to take the cases in the hospital and how our interaction should be with the patient and what all are the procedures I followed while taking these cases. So let's start. As I said in my earlier videos about our ward rounds will start from second year of PharmD. So my suggestion to all the second year PharmD students is Try to take the simple cases during your initial days of the ward rounds and later on you can uh, go with the comorbid cases like uh, the same patient is having two or more diseases. Whenever you be having the ward rounds, try to find the active patient so that you can have a good interaction with the patient and if the patient is not willing to uh, have the communication then don't force them. Out of these two cases, I will be discussing on uncontrolled diabetes mellitus with recurrent urinary tract infection in this video. So, uh, in patient profile form, we will be having the demographic details. I noted the IP number and date of admission from the file which would be uh, the patient is having. And next, the patient was having the complaints of fever, burning maturation, vomiting and abdominal pain since 4 days. And she was a known case of diabetes mellitus. And urinary tract infection. She was a known case of diabetes mellitus since 5 years and known case of urinary tract infection since 1 month. So the most of the diabetes mellitus patients are prone to or uh, having chance of getting urinary tract infection because in diabetes mellitus uh, case what happens is when the sugar levels reaches to the high, higher level so there are uh, chances of excretion of the sugar through urine. So as the Sugar is the breeding ground for bacteria. There are chances of developing the burning maturation, which is the symptoms of the urinary tract infection. So she was having the fast medication of injection insulin for uh, diabetes mellitus and uh, nitroferentin for um, urinary tract infection and next pantoprazole she was taking. And after counseling, I got to know that the patient was in compliance with the medication, like she was not taking the medication regularly. So we can say like they made her to admit to the hospital and next is our diet was mixed like our meal was composed of both veg and non-veg and appetite was normal bowel and blood was frequent urination and sleep was good and next uh, i noted uh, blood pressure pulse rate and respiratory rate as well so based upon the her sign and symptoms physician advised her to uh, cbc like complete blood count test renal function test electrolytes urinary routine urine routine, biochemistry and peripheral blood smear and I asked the patient about the uh, lab reports so after observing the lab reports I got to know that her hemoglobin RBC levels were reduced and blood sugar was too high, renal parameters were all the normal. Next note down all the medicines which is prescribed by the physician and also you should know the uses of that medicines with the dose and frequency. And next, I followed, I followed this case till the patient get discharged and uh, I also have the discharge medication like uh, injection insulin was prescribed, paracetamol prescribed and ciprofloxacin was prescribed for um, her UTI, for the treatment of her UTI instead of disodium hydrogen citrate was also prescribed. Here you have to make sure that all the medicine uses you have to know. I did not discuss this case in detail because it takes a very long time to discuss the case that's all i hope this video is helpful to you all meet you all in the next video until then bye bye